Philips POS6501 is according to specification an UHD TV with 1800 ppi and 200 Hz FR. Everything understood? I thought so. Ok, first let me clear out what ppi and FR stand for. ppi stands for Picture Performance Index and FR should be frame rate. PPI is Philips' attempt to rank their 2016 TVs by the performance they achieve. So the lowest score of 200 has series 4101 and the highest 2600 PPI is on series 8601. Then 200Hz FR should mean that this TV has a true 200Hz panel, right? I was skeptical about this right from the beginning, since I know that currently there are no true 200Hz UHD TVs on the market. So the only way to find out what the truth is, is to do a few tests. As usual, I used FPD Benchmark and Spears and Mansell Blu-ray discs to check motion resolution. Based on conducted tests, POS6501 has a 120Hz panel and can display in best case 600 out of 1080 lines on the monoscope test. TV has two options for adjusting motion, perfect natural motion and clear LCD. Perfect natural motion is a appealing name for motion interpolation, aka soap opera effect. It has three levels of intensity and already on the lowest makes movies look unnatural and like they were shot with a video camera. Clear LCD is the option you should aim for if you want better motion resolution without soap opera effect. It will repeat original frames of the picture without creating the new ones making movies still look like movies, with more details in dynamic scenes. Doubling of objects was visible in some materials like on automobile test, but nothing too distracting. These options are available for all kind of content, except when you enable PC mode. In that case, both options are disabled. So to conclude this test, I was very positively surprised to see 120Hz UHD panel on mainstream series TV. Up until now manufacturers were using 60Hz UHD panels and relied only on different LED backlight techniques to take care of motion blur. POS6501 has good motion resolution both in bright and dark scenes and not too distracting dirty screen effect. Ultimately, I can recommend this TV for watching sports. You can find more results of motion resolution tests on my website, linked below. Thanks for watching.